Hello! Today I would like to make a video about my favourite films. Jack Howard recently made a video about his favourite films, I'll leave a link down in the description because it's quite long but it's really really engaging. I think Jack Howard's really really funny and everything he said was really interesting because it, would it was a different perspective on what most people would make a favourite films video about. I really like movies but if I try to talk to anyone about movies they go oh have you seen this classic movie or this classic movie and I go no. A lot of films that Jack talked about that everyone should have seen, I haven't seen. On another note, I'm also really easily pleased when I go to see films, but it also makes my favourite movies really stand out because it's not just another movie I've seen that I've enjoyed, it's a movie I've loved. Whenever someone asks me what my favourite film is, I always say The Social Network, but I've not really thought about my favourite film that much, so I don't know if it is The Social Network. So with all those facts in mind, these are the films I could think of when I thought about what my favourite films were. So I'll start with The Social Network because I think this film is brilliantly made. The script is really really good. It actually has some really funny lines which you wouldn't expect in such a serious film. I think the way it's filmed is just beautiful. From someone who doesn't actually know much about filmmaking but would like to know more about filmmaking, The Social Network is a really really great film that I could watch like 400 times on repeat. The next on my list is Zombieland. I don't know if it is a really really great film but for me, I really, really enjoyed it because it really inspired me and it made me want to write something like it. And that's what sparked the idea for the book I wrote. So I started off with an idea that was actually probably just exactly Zombieland. And then I worked on it, I developed my characters, I developed my own plot. And then if you read my book, other than the fact it had zombies in it, you probably wouldn't relate it back to Zombieland at all and that's something I'm really really proud of because I took something I liked and made it into something that was my own. Another film I really like is Cool Runnings which is about a Jamaican bobsleigh team and it's got some funny songs in it. It's a really funny film but it's also a really poignant and hard hitting film as well and I think if it's not already considered a classic it will become one. Whilst Jack said that he wouldn't put The Amazing Spider-Man or any Spider-Man film on his favourite film, I would because I love Spider-Man, Spider-Man is my favourite superhero character but I only observe superhero characters in the cinematic universe. I made a blog post about it the other day, I'll leave a link in the description if you would like to read it. And my perspective on superhero characters is probably different to someone who reads comics because the only experience I've had is of those characters through the films rather than understanding them on a literary perspective. On a similar line to Spider-Man, I love the Avengers Age of Ultron film most of my favourite films are for the same reasons. The script is really good, it's actually a lot funnier than you'd think it would be, but it's got some really hard hitting bits as well. And I love the action in The Avengers, and I just love the relationship between the characters, I think they're really great. I really like Aladdin, because the songs are really great. I also love The Jungle Book, because Baloo reminds me of my dad, and we watched this film a lot when I was little. These next two, I think, are kind of more under the radar Disney films, and these films are Atlantis and Treasure Planet. Apply all the other things I said to the other films to these films and that's why I love Atlantis and Treasure Planet. And the last one, even though these are in no particular order at all, is the lucky one with Zac Efron. It made me more aware and more interested in the production of films and whilst I don't think I'm capable of being a director, I do think I'm capable of being a writer and I would like to have a more producer's involvement in a film. I think that's, I think I'm right in saying that but I actually have no idea, so if you know lots about films and terminology, please leave it in the comments if you understand what I'm trying to say. So that's a very brief summary of some of my favourite films. If you'd like me to talk more in depth about it, do leave it in the comments. If you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe if you're new, because I'm really excited about the content I'm going to be making on this channel. Yay! Thank you for watching, I'll see you on Wednesday for another episode of Ecuador Stories. Bye!